Hey, what's up guys? It's Marques from the MKBHD channel. And we're back with another HD video review for the Droid Dog YouTube channel of an Android application. And there's been a lot of buzz about cloud music service lately, especially with the release of Spotify in the United States. But I'm here today to show you a slightly different cloud streaming music service called SoundCloud. Now, to use the SoundCloud application, you do have to make a SoundCloud uh, account, which you can do at soundcloud.com. And once you're there, you can actually sign up and you can go to the Android market and download the SoundCloud application. So when you have the app, it's really simple. Basically, what it allows you to do is follow people and get followed. But instead of sending out like Facebook posts or tweets, you're sending out music. Now, you don't have to send out music to use this. This is mostly what I use to listen to my favorite tracks by other users that I'm following. Uh, so this is basically a walkthrough of this application. Up here at the top, you notice the nice, clean, simple tab interface. You start off with incoming tracks, and these are tracks from people that you are following. So I'm following Skrillex, a bunch of brand new Skrillex music, so that's really convenient. And this is exclusive, so people who might want to share tracks exclusively with me can do that. And if you want to share tracks with people, you can do that too uh, through the menu options. You can also record stuff that you want to remember. You might not want everyone to see what you're following, but you can record private stuff as like maybe voice memos and stuff, and you can share those sounds if you'd like but they're always ready to be uploaded to SoundCloud. So it's really convenient that they let you upload directly from the mobile application. And the use section is where I spend most of my time. It's because this is where I have the two tracks I've uploaded. I'm MKBHD on SoundCloud, but more importantly, my favorite tracks. And uh, we'll go ahead and, and scroll down to one here that we'd like to play. So we go ahead and play it. This is, uh, this is streaming only, so there's no offline mode, but when it does open up the player, you can see that it's a, uh, a pretty simple looking player. It shows you the album art, and sometimes it does hang like this, but that's not a big deal. You can see the wave structure down at the bottom here, and you can play and pause your song. Now there are comments on SoundCloud, so you can view all the comments left by people on this piece and the information about it. And the cool thing is, when you turn it sideways, you can view all the comments for different times of the track. So if you want to leave a comment, you can tap here and start typing a comment, or you can just uh, scroll through all the comments people have left about the track, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you're interested in keeping track of the person on SoundCloud and uh, all the comments they get. But that's a way to view all your favorite tracks on SoundCloud by the people you, you follow most. Uh, next to that you have information about yourself and who you're following. So if we click on someone that we're following, we can view all their favorites, all their info, who they're following, etc. Uh, and also you can view who is following me. Two people happen to be following me, that's pretty cool. And you can find your friends. So if you link this up with Facebook, you can see who your Facebook friends with that are uploading tracks and some suggested friends. So that's a pretty basic overview of SoundCloud. Now note that there is a search feature just like on the web app. You can search tracks or users. So say we search house. And we just want to search a house track here and search tracks. You get a pretty basic idea. You can look through all the house tracks and of course play them and uh, view all the comments and things like that, etc. You get all the uh, album art, pretty colorful one here. Uh, and you can share any track you want at any time at a whole bunch of different uh, services. But that's basically it for SoundCloud. Uh, it's just another one of those pretty neat music streaming applications. I do use this all the time in my car to listen to songs that I favorited that I like to listen to. Some cool Dead Mouse stuff, some Wolfgang Gardner stuff I've never heard before, some Daft Punk, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, this has been a quick video from MKBHD for the Droid Dog YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next week. Peace.